today we're going to be looking at the Adidas Superstar Clear. I'm going to give a little rundown of what I think of the, the shoe by itself. And then obviously the comparison to the Blondie Clear, which released in 2019, which is the first of his uh, release of colorways for his collaboration with Adidas and the Superstar Silhouette. So let's have a little look. Comes in your standard Adidas box, all white, Superstar sort of normal box. States Superstar, this is a UK nine, which is a US nine and a half. So coil, core black, white. Now, I actually got the heads up from the subscriber, so thank you Sam on these, because I didn't know that these had released. They've got this um, colorway, and then there's also a, uh, a all black with the stripes clear, and then an all white with the stripes clear. But then you have this. Now, if you've seen the previous releases of the Blondies collaboration with Adidas, your, this will stand, this will remind you of that greatly. That clear, flexible plastic all around the upper. Um, but this is, of course, is a very simple, toned down, general release of that concept. Now, I picked these up on the Adidas website. They are £80 originally, but I managed to get a 20% discount. Um, I just wanted to check it out and see what I think. Obviously, this is a very uh, run of the mill sort of colorway, very plain, very summery at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just say what I think of it. And then we do the little comparisons between uh, Blondie's release and this one. But I have to admit, even though they are the same silhouette, I find them totally different. But let's get started. Now, this states that it's a synthetic upper, which leads me to believe that this actually might be a faux leather. But I'm not 100% on that, but I just feel they would have stated that it's a, uh, a leather if they had actually used a leather on this but it has a sort of semi um, okay feel to it, just a general standard. It's not gonna be premium, but it's gonna do the job. Now, this is extremely flexible. And what I did uh, notice after wear of the recent Blondie release that has the same sort of plastic material. Uh, when I first did the video, I stated about going a half size up and blah, blah, blah. And someone stated that uh, it's actually probably best to go half size down. Now, I will definitely agree with that now, especially if you're gonna skate these, because where you've got no padding and the structure of this is quite flimsy, um, you're gonna roll your ankle really easy if you're skating these because of it's not that supportive around that. So definitely, uh, I would suggest uh, to take the opinion of that subscriber and to go a, a half size down. Uh, you should have a bit more grip in these ones compared to the Blondies because you have uh, more of a texture on that padded foam. Now, as a silhouette goes, I think these uh, are pretty good for a general release. Uh, I, I like the idea of maybe staining these with uh, Angelus ink in black and maybe the same with the stripes and the toe box because it is quite, it's a bit too plain and simple and it almost to me looks quite feminine. Uh, I'd wanna sort of make it look a bit sort of, a bit different and it's, it, rather than just being completely bright white. Now, all round, I'm gonna say, it's a pretty cool pickup. It's, it's, the only similarities I feel is the clear plastic to the Blondie release because it is, a, it is slightly different shape and there is quite a lot of um, small details that um, that just don't put it on par with that release. But if you want this kind of concept, you want to be able to change the color of your, uh, your, your shoe by just the change of socks, it's a great little um, number to wear. But let's have a look now, around now with the uh, details compared to Blondie's first release. Now, going from the front, the toe box on this has different perforations and I actually definitely prefer the one on the Blondie because it just has a softer sort of look to it. And obviously, I'm not, I'm not really gonna go into detail about the uh, colorway difference because I think all that is obvious. You've also got uh, small details like the fact that they, it's just exposed plastic on the inside uh, near, the, near the lace holes on the, the GR release of this clear colorway 
and on the blondies they had a little bit of soft material to give it that extra finish. Um, the, the padding of the foam insert, blondie sits quite flush, but as I said, it is a, more of a smooth material, so you slip more. So this actually has more grip to it, but it just it doesn't it doesn't seem to sit as finished. Uh, I know that when you put your foot in, it will compress this down so that it will look flush. But again, that finish is um, a lot nicer on the blondie. Uh, you've you the piping around the plastic on this is either a leather or faux leather, which then uh, carries on to the back of the heel tab. And on the blondies, you have a nice bit of cushioning on that heel tab, which is really soft and just adds for that extra bit of comfort. I feel like with this general release, you might get some rubbing on there. They might slip, but I have not worn these yet, so I cannot uh, say 100% whether that is going to be the case. Um, and then also just the actual cut of these. So blondies is a slimmer, uh, more sleek uh, shape of the silhouette and you can see from the bottom, it's just a bit narrower and the general release has a wider sort of uh, bottom of the sole to it and just general shape. But if you're looking for an alternative, this is quite a cool little alternative. It's, um, if, if you want that look and you don't want to pay the crazy money, obviously you'll have Superstar in gold rather than Blondie and you're just, yeah. It's going to be a good little shoe to even if you want to skate these. Um, I don't know how different it'll be because that's another thing I forgot to mention is that on this one there is by the toe box leather over the plastic rather than on blondies where so you've got that leather over and then on blondies it is actually just the exposed plastic. So I don't know how that would wear which one would wear better in skating. So that would have to be put to a wear test that I'm sadly not gonna do. But yeah, all around, what did you think of these? Did you pick these up? Um, are you a fan of Blondie's uh, original silhouettes and do you think this is almost, it, it lessens the uh, uniqueness of these? And I think in some respects it does, but if you look at them closely enough and you know the story behind these, you'll just know that this has a much nicer quality and finish. And these are just, as they are stated, a general release. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'm gonna do some on feet shots of these and maybe even some on shot feet of the blondies just to show the comparison. Thank you for watching. If you wanna leave a like or a comment, feel free. Thanks.